Ladies, 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 I'm here on the show, I'm here on the show to talk about some uh, NFL uh, news. Not sure what's going on with the camera quality, whatever, it doesn't matter. But first thing I want to talk about here is episode 46, NFL. The main to- story and the BF today we're going to talk about the Eagles trading for star pass rusher Robert Quinn, which is a major move for already the best team in the NFL this year. 6 and 0 on a bye week. They're just simply reloading. That defensive line, oh my lord. You already got uh, Jordan Davis, I believe that's his name, Fletcher Cox, uh, Hassan Reddick. Now, now you're adding Robert Quinn, who had who had 19 sacks last year with the, with the Bears. Um, this is a major move for the Eagles. Just adding to that defensive line, which has already been fantastic this year, and just adding to that defense overall. Their defense this year has been amazing. So just just a major move around the NFL today. So the Eagles getting better and better. So in the trade, it's a four three hundred going to the hashtag Bears per source. I think that's what the value is going to be for, and probably a third, fourth round pick. So I think it's a good move for the Eagles getting um, another good pass rusher in uh, Robert Quinn over breakout season last year, and is you know he's getting up there in age. Um, so, good move for the Eagles. The Bears get a 4th round pick, so it was probably going to be a late round pick they were going to get. Uh, so, here's uh, some more news. The hashtag Bears, they're paying $7.1 million of his uh, of Robert Quinn's remaining base salary this season as a part of the trade to hashtag Eagles. So, Philadelphia gets Quinn for the minimum for the rest of the 2022 and inherits non-guaranteed base salaries of $14 million in 2023 and $13 million in 2024. So those, that's some of the contract details. The Bears are paying uh, 7.1 million of uh, his remaining base salary this year as part of the trade. So they get the Quinn for the minimum for this year, and then like non-guaranteed base salaries of 14 million in 2023, and then 13 million in 2024. So overall, I think this is a good move for both teams. The Eagles get a, or the Bears get a fourth round pick in return. And the Eagles get a really good pass rush already add to their great defense. Uh, got some good news for Steelers fans. TJ Watt, linebacker, he returned to practice today for the Steelers, but he does remain in the reserve so injured list. But good news, um, he's returned to practice. So maybe it's an indication that maybe in a few weeks, maybe he could come out that injured reserve and return to the return to that uh, Steelers defense. Uh, J.C. Jackson's having surgery days. We talked about he tore his patellar tendon. He's going to have surgery uh, to repair his, t- patellar t- his patellar tendon. Recovery time typically takes eight to nine months. So he's out for the season. So speedy recovery for Mr. Um, uh, J.C. Jackson. You, you, you have your AFC and NFC Offensive Players of the Week. Uh, for the AFC, it's Offense, Joe Burrow. Defense, Sauce Gardner from the Jets. And special teams, Randy Bullock from the Titans. On offense, you had quarterback Daniel Jones. Defense, Marco Wilson, Arizona. And then special teams, Cairo Santos for the Bears. Such so your have seen offensive players of the week. However, Russell Wilson at base said he worked out stretch for four of the eight hours on the flight from Denver to London. Said he was doing high knees in the aisle when the rest of the guys were asleep. He said, uh, basically, um, he basically said he's going to return, uh, probably in London against the, uh, Jags, which, ugh. So, he said he's trending towards playing and did quite a bit during today's workout, so, but I don't know how you can have a partially torn hamstring and come back in two weeks. Seems a bit fishy out there, so maybe maybe it wasn't a real injury. Maybe Russell Wilson was faking. 
who knows, but that's all for the information. So until next time, I'll peace.